kids are sources of chaos and disorder. Get over that fact. Uh, I was in Central Park and it had rained a little earlier so there were puddles in some of the walkways. I saw a woman walking with her kid. The kid has galoshes on and a raincoat on and there's this big juicy muddy puddle right there. I said, please let the kid jump in the puddle. You know the kid wants to jump in the puddle. The kid is like three or four. And what does the mother do? She pulls the kid around to prevent that from happening. That was a bit of curiosity in that moment that was extinguished. Gone. Kids are sources of chaos and disorder. Get over that fact. And where does the disorder come from? It's because they are experimenting with their environment. Everything is new to them. Everything. You splash the water, there's mud, it's fun. You get to see the cause and effect of a force, downward force operating on a fluid. You don't have kids with the intent of retaining a clean house. These are non-commensurate goals. People ask about raising their kids. They ask about education. So I can just tell you that what has to change with our kids, curiosity provided it does not kill them, if it meant we had extra work, I would do that extra work. And on the other side of that is school should, as a minimum, preserve that curiosity for you. When you come down the steps on the last day of school, you should be sad that school is over, not happy, saying, gee, I got to go two or three months without learning anything? And the fact that you're happy that school is over means something is not working in there. You're not enjoying the learning process. If Einstein were here and we're talking with Einstein, we, we could talk to him for hours and hours and hours. You know what question will never come out of our mouths? Is, what college did you go to? <laughs> I want to go to that same college. I bet most of your people who've sat in this chair, it's not about what college they went to. It's about their own initiative, their own ambitions, their own curiosity. That is not taught in school, sadly. School, they view you as this empty vessel that they pour information in, and you test it over here, you get a high grade, you're praised. Is that who become the shakers and movers of the world? I don't think so. So I can just tell you that what has to change, your task is less to instill curiosity in your kids than it is to Make sure you don't squash what's already there. They'll retain that curiosity through the turbulent middle school years into high school. And what is a, an adult scientist? But a, a kid who's never lost the curiosity.